My philosophy when it comes to styling food is to, of course, always make things beautiful, but keep it approachable. I want the person to feel like the thing in that photo is for them and they're about to walk over and take a bite out of it. Hey everybody, I'm Marshall Brett Long and I'm a culinary producer and a food stylist in Los Angeles, California. And I'm gonna show you how to style and photograph a layer cake. I grew up baking cakes with my mom and my grandmother almost every weekend. For me, cakes mark celebrations. They mark events, they mark family gatherings, and what better way to hang on to the memory than by documenting it with a really beautiful photo. You don't have to have special lights or special equipment. Really, all you just need is a little understanding of how best to light and how best to capture the food. Typically in practice, I utilize natural light. The temperature of the light is not cold and it's not warm. It's pretty close to true white light. I think one of the most difficult things of shooting layer cakes is having even layers between cake and frosting. Really building a cake that has even layers between the two is the most foundational thing before you ever go to shoot it. When it comes to cake, there are truly so many kinds and so many ways of decorating. And the important thing to remember is just decorate a cake with the skill set that you feel comfortable with, with the things that you have. You don't have to try something that you've never tried before. Do something that you feel comfortable with and then that way you'll be squarely in your lane to really make the most beautiful cake that will be possible. To me, the way that I dial in a photo before I actually take the photo is I will sit out the foods on the plates first and I'll look at them and I'll see if I like the composition. Because we're shooting a layer cake, we wanna see the height and the work that we've put into building these beautiful layers. But we also don't wanna to have to necessarily go out and buy a backdrop. So it's important to know that by using an angle that you can see a really beautiful frame without having to need a special backdrop or putting up a flat surface behind your photo to make it appear as if you're in a photo studio. Then from there, once I'm happy, I will accentuate with ingredients that go into it. So today we have a cake that has walnuts as a topping. I may drop some crushed walnuts on the surface. I may actually also drop in some whole carrots with the stems because we used really beautiful carrots to go into the cake. So we can further accessorize the photo by showing you what's inside the cake even before we've cut into it. And looking at a whole cake fully assembled, you may not see all of those finer details. So for us today, we took a slice out of the cake to show the soft texture of the crumb on the inside, the fact that we used really delicious raisins and whole shredded carrots. And it just really highlighted the natural beauty that the cake has without having to do anything extra to it. When you work really hard to assemble a beautiful layer cake, of course you wanna capture it in all its glory as you would sit it down at the table for whatever gathering you're going to take it to. But you don't just wanna stop there, what a shame that would be. These cakes are made for gatherings and for making memories with the people that you love and care about. So an easy way to inject a little bit of lifestyle into the shot is to cut several slices put them on various plates, whether they match or don't. That's where it's up to you because you really get to have fun and dial it into your personal style. For me, I like lots of multicolored plates that go together, that maybe come from different places because really what a beautiful representation of your friend group. But you also, if you're not entirely happy with the finished decoration of your whole cake, it's an easy way to hide any perceived imperfections that you may not want to highlight in a photo. Regardless of the angle, regardless of whether it's a cake or some other type of food, I'll spin it around, I'll situate it in different ways, and I'll find the most beautiful beautiful side that there is. And I'll make sure that that side faces the camera because the camera can't see through a cake. It's only gonna see what's pointed at it. So show it the pretty. I think it's also really important to keep an eye on positive space versus negative space. One of the most stressful things is to look at a photo that is so full of plates and food that your eye doesn't know where to look. When you look at a photo, your brain should immediately say, right there, look at that. That's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And if you're not there yet, don't worry. Just keep moving things around until you feel satisfied and then take your picture. As long as you are doing everything in your power to make sure that you're highlighting the natural beauty of 
the cake, of the frosting, of anything that you're putting into it. You know that at the end of the day, it's gonna be a delicious cake. That's all that there is to worry about. The important thing to remember is just in all things, chase beauty. Everybody, there you have it. I hope you've had fun watching and you know, maybe best case, I hope you've learned a thing or two that you can integrate into your photos the next time you make your own layer cake. If you do, be sure to tag me on Instagram and use the hashtag MyJaconi so that we can be your personal culinary cheerleaders.